somebody need to chaperone Winston when I have met with them before. But I had another member of BBMC come along because they are on such high alert. Right. Uh, so this is where we are at with Edgar. I need to talk to TJ about this entire thing. Yeah. Because they're basically ready to go blasting. Blast who? Well, I Edgar. think all the BBMC. Edgar's Wait, ready Edgar. to... Yeah. Edgar is ready to blast BBMC. I'm assuming BBMC is ready to blast Edgar and whoever he's with. Edgar, yes. They said that BBMC, Colin said, basically, if you touch TJ at all or even attempt, all of BBMC will this is basically how rock you, you. This is how you should war. All day, every day, until you don't wake up. I hope he didn't say that. Like, something along those lines. Right. But basically, don't touch TJ. We protect TJ. If you come after him, you come after us. Yes. No, I get that point. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to have to talk to TJ. I also have to, I guess, we have to fucking talk to Edgar. It's, he's also, oh, um, yeah, my niece is with him, which I am... Which Nick cares about Rosabelle. Yeah, yeah. And what is her stance is, in this entire thing? What's what? I think she is with Edgar. She is pisses, with Edgar. Which pisses. I am. Why? That's a really good <laughs> fucking question. Hmm. He's I, I, charming, he's charismatic. Um, yeah, that's what people keep saying, that he has a fucking snake tongue. I I feel like she has been, and no offense to, you know, people who like him. I haven't liked him since the beginning. I have tried to work with him, but I feel like he has this venom about him that people can get intoxicated by it. Yep. Uh, they are to be married next Saturday. Oh boy. Oh, that's gonna end well. That that's the literally, post. that is literally the definition of a, of a red wedding, isn't it? Right. Uh, I am supposed to walk her down the aisle. Nope, you're not supposed to walk her down the aisle. Until he fixes his shit, you're not doing that. But basically, uh, she I had a phone call with Roosevelt yesterday, which I felt like I was breaking up with a family member, um, where she was like, uh, I love you, I will always love you, I have made deals so you are protected, which was crazy, um, but my loyalty lies with Edgar. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. Mm. No, nope. I guess we need to figure that shit out. But if this is not sorted by then, then you're not walking down that aisle. I need you alive, not dead. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want to die because of him. Yeah, no. It's not worth that. No. Um, I think when Nick last was around, he said, you know, no. Kind of felt like that would be enough to stop it. But she is so intoxicated. Uh, both me and Kenny have... Uh, we chased her around for an hour yesterday. Uh, she was convinced she has brain damage. Uh, <laughs> she was convinced that we were both going to kill her. That's the conclusion. 
how does he come how did she come to that conclusion i feel like she's been unstable sorry like i'm, I'm just gonna be yeah. honest like since jeffy died she she has been um like jeffy was like her grounder jeffy, basically jeffy, jeffy. i tried to step in mm -hmm. i I feel I didn't do enough of a good job. So there's only so much I you can tried. do. Yeah, I mean I tried, but I am not Jeffy. Mm. I Yeah. All like, right. I did not I did not care about her at first. Uh, like, <laughs> I grew to care about her, uh, which is very unfortunate at this point. Yeah, uh, yeah a little bit. Well, but now Nick, I do give a fuck about her. Nick so, cares about her and, as well. And Nick gives the yep. Nick also gives a fuck about her. Mm, that means uh, by proxy, Nick wins. be around. Do we know? No. I think he's no. tied up. Yep. Okay, maybe that's a good thing because I feel like the world will burn if he hears about this shit. Probably. Yes, this is also what uh, I, myself and Bunny uh, said. If uh, you heard any of this, you would. Um, oh, also, Roosevelt was close with one member of BBMC who's a prospect, uh, Shang, Shang Liu. I don't know who that is. Um, She got taken hostage by a group called The Veil. Do you know anything? I've never heard no, of them before. No clue. So, yeah. A group called The Veil scooped her up, took her hostage. We never owned us. Said some weird shit. Asked her about if she had any regrets in life, any regrets of people she's met. Um, told her if she thought hard enough, she'd know why she was there. They gave her a black rose marked for death radioed in that she was at the pickup location they drove away and then uh before i guess the next person could pick her up uh she fucking booked it and hid in a bush mm. and uh, uh the next person like... uh came on a motorcycle like amateurs holy shit uh was driving around looking for her and she just went around a rock. Pfft, fucking amateurs. Yeah, so uh, I, but she, when she had talked to Shang before then, Shang went looking for her. Um, I was meeting with Winston at the time and so there are members of even BBMC that care about her, uh, but not enough to... Uh, Shang has now basically said to her that they can't be friends anymore because of Vector. And Shang was somebody that would kill for Rosabelle. And she is, she is not seeing the red flag then in that case. that that, that To that extreme that somebody would just up and leave like that. She is not seeing well, it. He, he doesn't like... He doesn't want to leave, right? No, but... Like, he is still, like, calling me, making sure she is okay. If there's anything he can do, you know, to the extent. But, you know, it's club first. And if you who, have... Who was this again, you said? It's Shang said... Liu. It's Shang. Shang, yeah. Yeah, I don't know who that is. He's a prospect. He's... I knew him before he was in the club. Oh, he's, okay. He's and a... he's... Together with Roosevelt? No. He's he's Just friends. very good friends. Very, very, very good, good friends. friends with Roosevelt. Yeah. But basically he's like, if your husband is coming after the club Soon and I have to shoot your husband. Okay, so this goes back to Edgar. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, th I think I'm gonna be honest with you, Michael, we need to have like a really Yes. We need to have a talk with Edgar, and it needs to be very serious business. I'm going to talk to TJ as well. I don't know if you want to be there, but... Yeah, I would love to be there, actually, because... 
we're kind of like involved because of what's going on. He doesn't need to know what's behind the scene, but at the same time, I feel if Edgar is going out of this rampage stuff, it sounds like when you're talking, Dahlia. Yeah. Edgar has mentioned Seaside uh, to TJ before. Yeah. So I get like from what I know, he has been mentioning our name and kind of like using uh, that as an uh, you know a shield, whatever you know that he does business with us on the you know underground and uh, the gain some kind of power because of that, you know. But He's... if he doesn't listen to anyone around him, and if he doesn't listen to us when we speak to him there's something wrong you know then the bells are ringing heavily uh this all started because he was deemed such a un like a risky hostage that they had to switch out hostage mid bank mm -hmm. and uh they grabbed me instead how do you deem somebody and a risky hostage that he was pinging people in the trunk to a polito bank did they not take his phone away? And, okay, I don't, <laughs> they, yeah. people don't take phones away anymore for, like, banks. Because they think that, you know, you're smart enough to not do that. Uh, because you will be shot. <laughs> it is, like, more or less hostage etiquette of, hey, don't do this shit. Um, or they do it when you're at the bank, right? Um, I but he was pinging people, like and then he said he had boys coming. I think he mentioned Seaside. Um, and they just wanted to rob a bank, not have a shootout. So that's when I got scooped up in Polito, because I was up in Nexus. And, uh... People being so casual. It's, it might be, they, you know, an unwritten rule. They apologized and they said if there was anybody else around, you know, yeah, would but in, take his, them. in his defense. But basically, this is an extreme it's situation. It's an unwritten rule, but it doesn't mean that that's where how this it is, is the safer option. Right. Because people can be friendly uh, as a hostage taker Edgar's as well. So it's very. Um, but it... they basically brought him to the White House, where I guess he met with TJ. Uh, he told me afterwards he finally met with somebody with brains. So yeah, basically insulted his whole club. Uh, yeah. He called me afterwards for a pickup and I was fucking pissed. Wait, Edgar called you for a pickup? Yes. <laughs> I made him walk. Yeah, good. Good call. All right. Yeah, well... Uh, I guess we, I'm gonna, we, we are gonna have meetings on meetings, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. today is a meeting day. Uh, I love give it. Me, yeah, give me a sec. Yep. I feel like if he, like. I know Denzel is gonna probably dip soon, so I'm gonna kind of want to do the meeting with them so he doesn't have to be sticking around too long. And then I guess we're gonna have a meeting with TJ. I think he's awake. thing is you can't really you can't rely on people sticking to a unrelated or a, like unwritten rule if people leave the phone on him as a hostage it is on them is it expected people don't ping kind of i guess because people have been so been so relaxed in terms of hostage taking but he's not in the wrong 
there's no way he was there alone. He's like, no, bunny, he was. He was there alone. He was there alone. And to the fact that he's not even listening to the people around that have... We've, yeah. we've played this game before. Yeah. Sorry, I need to take... Yep. Yeah, you're good. It was good. Yeah. He's dumb for telling them that he, had, he probably pinged. But if he just pinged somebody without telling them, that's, you know. Ah, oh, this is such a headache. Well, today really is a meeting day, huh? Uh, yep. I'm gonna have to call and set up I a started talking, with... yeah, I started, mm -hmm. I briefly talked to uh, Dragon yesterday. Right, probably. Uh, gave him kind of a heads up. Yeah. Uh, about what was going on, but Dragon's really sick right now, so. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Um, so he kind of knows that I have a headache? on a... No, I mean, like, this this situation that is a headache kind yeah. of thing, you know? Yeah. Whatever path. It's kind of like a nuclear bomb path, you know? It's it, Yeah. It, it feels like he basically doesn't, like, I, I don't know, maybe he doesn't see any options and he wants his get back and he... Don't give a he fuck wants, anymore. He, he Goes wants out, blood. Guns blazing. Yeah, he wants blood. <laughs> yeah, Which... I know he wants blood, and I've been avoiding him not blood, you know? Right. It's, that's but I understand not the where best he comes option. From. Yeah, no, I understand where he comes from, too. But I've never even... I don't... I've never even seen him shoot. Well, if you're able to kidnap somebody, you don't need to know how to shoot, you know? That's true. I've never seen him kidnap somebody. Yeah, like the Edgar thing is how you should do war stuff if you no. even could call it war. So it's more like I told Michael, you know, he's a storyteller. He's a damn good one, and people listen. Get kind of like drawn into his little stories he's talking about, and then you kind of forget, you know, that you need to read between the lines sometimes. Yeah, well, next on the list is. Well, I guess ne next on the list is what we have to do, and then I guess we'll talk yeah. to TJ. I don't know if you want to call the boys here, and then we can call and set up that meeting. Yeah, we could probably and Then that. after that, we'll talk to TJ if he's awake. Yeah. We can do We can talk to him. Well, you can talk to him. I don't have too much yeah, to yeah. say, but it, it will be good to be there just to listen, going to be honest with you, because I only heard it from Edgar. Like, I, I mm. like Edgar. I hope you understand that. Like, he hasn't done me wrong. He always listens when I say something. But uh, it seems like... Maybe I'm wrong when I'm saying this, and you can tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel sometimes that I come off as a way of authority, you know? Like, where I have something that he needs, or I'm able to kind of, like, control the narrative when I'm speaking to him. But mm -hmm. if, when he's out there talking to other people, he's kind of, like, using that authority he have with... Being That's what close he does. To seaside yes. As his way of doing whatever the fuck he feels like he can do. That was an issue from the start that I brought up because he kept throwing around fucking Benji's name. Yes. No. So. Yeah. No, he kept throwing around Benji's name in the very beginning. Yeah, and I heard about that since the beginning as well. And I. The guy is a wild card, and I told Benji that as well, but he liked him, so I was like, I'm going along with it, if that makes sense. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the guy, though. I've been talking to him a couple of times. Like, I have nothing against him, but... If you hurt yeah. people that people I care about, care about, you know? It doesn't mm -hmm. matter how good you are. And yeah. it's, hurting them to, it's hurting them to this extent where actual blood is going to... Uh, start spelling yeah this is this is my issue yeah and i feel like you need to pick a side you know and i've i don't like it you know and i don't like to be forced to be in a corner where you need to do something about it because it doesn't kind of like involve you but it involves you anyways because people yeah. involve you into whatever goes on yeah. oh you're like, good you need to talk to tj and talk to edgar yeah. And yeah, mm -hmm. get the full line of the story. It seems like he after he 
after he went into ICU and came back, you know, he, he changed a little bit. Mm. Kind of like a walking bomb, you know, ready to explode and just go mayhem. And in the process, he get killed himself. Yeah. Man. He's chewing over too much, he can swallow. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. Storyteller became the story, you know? Yeah. I heard, G I heard saw GJ was around. So. Yeah. I'll um, call him and set up yeah. a meeting with that as well. Yep. Yep. All right. Okay. Well, if you yeah. need anything on my end, let me know. I'll uh, um, let you know when I'm done with all these fucking meetings. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Anytime. And yeah. If you need anything as well, just hit us up. All right. Mm hmm. All right, there you go. This should be good. Hey. Yep, good. Um, all right, I just I'll need talk to you take later. this phone call, right? Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, you're good. I'll, uh, you want to call the boys? I'll call Denzel and set up that meeting. Uh, yeah, dude. All right. Uh, Spals. Uh, you and John, can you guys come to the tower? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're after. Meeting day. Meeting Andy. Yo. Hello, mate. All right, we're uh, we're done. So wherever you want to meet, I don't think we're picky to be honest. Um, we're somewhere that's kind of mutual. We could do um, like the graveyard car park behind the Mandan block. Mm, yeah, we can. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's, yeah, um, it's, it's whatever. Um, yeah. Yeah, is that, that is that cool with you? Yeah, that works. I'm, uh, I'm just near there. That's why I said it. Yeah, no, no that's fine. Uh, like I said, we're four people, so if you want to bring some of your boys, you're free to. Yeah, you know, say less. I'll, go, I'll, I'll speak to the guys and I'll get them there. All right. Sounds good. Bye, I'll see you in a minute, mate. Bye. See you. Bye. Graveyard. I don't know. We'll go to we'll go have the conversation next to Bass. <laughs> Am I from Denmark? Yes. Where did KJ go? KJ. Did he go down? Where did I get the... I, wait, what do you mean? I just have a Danish accent. Ish. What's left of it anyways. KJ! 
KJ! Not a fucking nose. Is he pissing? Nope. Did he go down then? He must have. Oh, I did. Motherfucker. Is he down here or is he still upstairs somewhere? Eh, uh, he's just around there. KJ, just around the corner. Oh, all right. All right, we're meeting uh, at the graveyard across from Mandan Pluck. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Miguel's going to be hiding Both in the graveyard. Yeah, I'm going to go by the... Oh, we'll, go, we'll go in the middle and we'll talk next to Sam Bass, you know. Just so we have a witness. What's the, what's the, how much are we putting on that Miguel's going to be there? I'll bet everything I have. Mm. He wasn't there earlier, so... I don't see why he would bring him along. He's They seem to be the ones that want to talk about this, right? But I don't know. The thing is, right, I was thinking in the car, like... I'm just going to tell him, like, you got the answers that you wanted, but you still... You, like... You still keep going. So you, the answer that you want is that Seaside was involved and you're not going to stop until you get that answer, but you're not going to ever get that answer. Yeah. Oh, that's what I said. Uh, like, we, we yeah. th there's only so much we can do. But like, the only thing we can do is we can tell them the truth and if they don't want to believe it, then that's really it. There's nothing else we can do. Hello. Hello, Hello Winty. Hello, Winty. So. We, we can go out of our way. Like, it's impossible. We're telling them what we know, what the truth is, and if that's not enough, then it's borderline impossible. But we'll see what happens. Is he doing a deal right now? I think so. How's Yuki Smalls? <laughs> Smalls? <laughs> bro, what are you doing, bro? What? Like, why are you stuffing your face like... Hungry, motherfucker. He has the munchies. What are you eating? Sandwich. Kind of sandwich? <laughs> Mo and I would've spit them in the face. Turkey yeah. or what? Another person with Swiss. the second ship. I like, a, I like a white roll. Thank you. Oh, a little white roll thing. Mm -hmm, like a roll. Like a shrug wear. I don't like that, yeah. I appreciate it. Is it like a little mom and pop shop deli? Mm-hmm. Oh, they're the good ones. <laughs> exactly. Mm -mm, oh, mm -mm, I'll be my head mm -mm, for a sec. Nice to have Chop chop. Mm -mm -mm. KJ. Got a meeting to go to. Just like, so yeah, these are the type of people that show up late to meetings, and I hate it. <laughs> All right, clocked in, clocked in type shit. You know what I'm saying? Want to go in one car, or you want to go with yours? Hey, yeah, we'll get in one. All right, All right, did you talk to Denzel? Yeah, yeah, we're meeting now. Fuck, does anyone have any? Oh no, I put away my gun in the car back there. Fuck. 
Uh, I'd probably just, gun. yeah, I'd probably just bring one just to be sure. Just to be sure, I always have a gun. Doesn't matter. Oh, damn. Feel naked without it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel naked. As long as you don't have a gun, you just have a sandwich. You just have a turkey on Swiss. I got a gun. Hey, I stay strapped in the streets. I got a gun. What if I shoot with my legal gun? They're gonna take it away from gang related shooting. I think we're gonna get shot here. Nah, I don't think so. There's no reason. This is not a reason to shoot. Yeah, just because, suck. just because they don't like what they hear. Oh, oh man! If they shoot us, then I'm definitely taking the love. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> and I get everybody involved. <laughs> Time to light the beacon, you know, for Rohan. Yeah. Look at the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Cars. Huh? Like this. I fucking told you. I fucking said. Ah, uh, you good. Uh, you want to go to the middle yeah, so we can have uh... the Madden or? <laughs> Why'd you say? Oh. Ask if they got a new member. No. No yawning. My bad. Might as well. All I right. just tried to do what? Are we gonna have a proper conversation or are we gonna be <laughs> Oh my nah, I don't know. <sighs> Alright, let's go to the middle, have a conversation so Sam Bass is our fucking witness. Jesus. Yeah. We're here to fucking have a fucking conversation, not talk shit to each other. Fucking Christ! You pregnant. You good? I know he's talking to. Sag bass. <laughs> he's whispering. What, Miguel? Probably. Even bass gets the tea. Yeah. Ugh. Why are we yelling? Because people are talking shit. We're here to have a fucking meeting, and then people start talking shit instantly. swear in his grave that we're telling the truth. Ask Sam, Sam Bass as my witness. <sighs> Jesus. Who's this? What? Sam Bass's grave. Oh, Sam Bass. I was about to say, have you not heard? Really? This spot of all spots? Yeah. I don't see why not. The guy I killed. Yeah. yeah. I guess that works. I mean, I'll stand on his grave as well. Fuck it. Alright. Well, meeting is to clear things up, I guess. And let you guys know... Like, from our end... How we see things and what happened on our end. But again... We can only tell you the truth, and if you don't want to believe that, that's really on you. There's only so much we can do. So. Okay. Well, I don't know, KJ, you were at the first meeting. I don't know if you want to... Yeah, yeah. No, I can start speaking. So, 
Oh, that the first meeting, you guys were talking about a lot of stuff. So I just put everything on the table from what we know, and what went down, and what's going on. Uh, I spoke to Smalls, spoke to John as well. You guys were curious about if we gave out the information. Was that what you said, Steve? If it, the information about the lab came from us, something like that? Uh, it didn't. Hmm? Something, something in those lines, yeah. Uh, about three months ago, actually, uh, two of Small's friends came up to him and said they wanted to steal a lab. They said, man them lab? And uh, Small's told them, fuck no, fuck off, don't do it, stay the fuck away from it. That's about it. He didn't mention that to me. He didn't mention it to anyone because he didn't think anything of, of it, basically. And yeah, all of this stuff happened. Was it Thursday, Friday? When people started to get kidnapped, everything. When Louis got kidnapped, John got the information from Chunker the same day. That was yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he confronted Chunker with it. Chunker relayed to John everything what happened. And he went straight to Miguel to avoid any conflict because we have no bearings or anything with this stuff. We have no interest That's... in a meth lab. No. Okay. Listen, I just want to get one thing straight off the bat. Is that if I wanted to smoke with Seaside, I would have smoked that Louis guy yesterday after the line to my face. So if you have this chip on your shoulder that I'm doing this to get you guys, I, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> All I got told was someone's coming after what's ours, and I'm trying to find out who's coming after it. But the issue that I have now is, you're saying that John only found out yesterday. But when John told me about the shit yesterday, he, him in his exact words said to me that he told Louis to distance himself because of this a long time ago. No, no, no. Distance, distance Louis from this group right. in general. Like, he, when he got the offer from Seaside, he was told to put a distance between him and the group. Not because of this, and I said, not in this situation, just in general. That's because not what you said. That is what I said. That is ex that is a quote. Of yeah, what I, I was said. the only one who ever knew about like this meth lab shit. The quote oh. is, he had to put distance between himself and that group, not because of this situation, but in general. That is the exact words of what I said. We'll have to agree to disagree on that. A hundred percent, as the ex I know exactly what I said. Because I only found out about this meth lab situation yesterday. Because I woke up and Dre filled me in on the Arthur situation. And I was stood next to Chunga. And then I confronted Chunga and I said, what the fuck's this about? And then that's when I got all the information. And then that's when you started going on a madness. I didn't really go on a madness, did I? I mean, you rolled up into a garage and started fucking taking people at gunpoint. And then you took some kid at gunpoint and shot him. Yeah. So it's a bit of a madness if you're going to ask Not really a madness, though. That's I mean, not a madness. That's some kid you just. If someone was going after one of your uh, one of your things, you would, you would do worse. I'm not saying that you were, that it wasn't uncalled for. I'm not saying like you weren't writing what you did. I'm just saying you went on a madness. So let me ask you this: Have you fired Chunker? Fired him yeah, from I mean, what? I'm, uh, I'm from Hayes. None of us even managed this, bro. What? That, that, that's like something. None of us even managed this shit. That's like yeah. Right, but John, you and I had a, a, a talk yesterday, which you agreed on, where this becomes a seaside thing because you guys protect Hayes, and these guys live at Hayes, so I'm going to look for someone. No, they work at Hayes. They don't live there. Same thing. No, it's not the same thing. Not the same thing. Right. But anyway, I mean, but I, whatever. I, I, I how? Like, I gotta. Be, no, 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 no. John, like uh, Miguel, like whatever happened in our business, whoever works there, you know, is our business. People work there, they do the thing, whatever. If they choose to go out and do something that we don't agree to, we don't have any involvement in, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, but they're going out doing things, branding themselves, whether it be a joke or not, as Hayes Gang. As Hayes Gang? Yes. Bro, it's bro, a Hayes Gang is not a real thing. That is a joke I, I, okay. that I made. Of course it's a joke, but they're branding It's a joke that I made. Yeah, but l l like I put I'm it down. I'm taking jokes as literal shit. They ain't a yeah. gang, bro. <gasps> they come for our lab, yes. All right. Right, That's cool. like me saying I get a bunch of casino employees, tell them to go, tell them to go steal a lab, and then leave them. Tell them to go. Nobody told them, them to go, go steal lab. Steal lab. Like, I told who told them to steal a lab? Bro, you guys are so defensive. 
I'm literally no, trying to get No, but when you're putting something. stuff out there, Miguel. I am not. We, we, we're trying to compare we, two situations, okay. but you're not paying I'm not comparing a situation. situation. I'm saying if I have a bunch of employees who call themselves casino gang, and the only place that I'm going to catch them is at the casino, and then you guys are getting up in arms about us going to his to get people. All right. So, that's so I don't want beef with you guys. You. I don't give a fuck about Seaside. But if I just wanted to clear there, up the air go between there. us and Mandem, basically. So, mm. like I said, you know, I'm already bored. If, when I figure out <laughs> what was going on, I would tell you guys. I didn't know about this that he had the information, you know, three months ago. I didn't know they were trying to go for your lab. I thought well, didn't I didn't know that you guys were sharing it with Hydra. I thought you guys were sharing it, you know, with Ballas. But anyways, it doesn't matter. Leo, Leo, Leo. Like I said, I want to call you guys up and you know. He didn't know three months ago. Nobody knew except me, and I'm not gonna snitch out my day one friends. Would you snitch out do your, your day one friends to us? If you knew that they were trying to steal our lab. No. You told him to stop though. Yeah, I did. I told him it's stupid as fuck and it's never gonna end well. They're Look the wrong people as well. They are the wrong fucking stop. people, bro. That's Don't the, you speak it's up to them if they wanna stop. Yeah, everybody needs to speak up. But, like, he told them to stop. It's down to They're the wrong people, bro. If they want to stop, they can stop. If not, and they get caught in the act, it's on them. Nothing to do with us. I'm not going to back them. I'm not going to save them. I'm not going to anything. Now, the whole Hayes thing is the fact that if you're up on Hayes and do some dumb shit, and then some dumb shit happens to you, then that's just a repercussion of you doing that dumb shit there. Okay, so you told him not to do it. You know, was it was this three months ago when you told him not to? Yeah. So... How many of them is there, and then who have they continued to do it with? Two. It's just frog. I didn't even know Chunker was involved in shit. Like, I know, in, like, involvement in anything. Like, I said, don't involve me. Don't do shit. You're asking questions like we were involved. I mean, when Small said he's a day one boy, so I'm just, you know, he might know more. Yeah, than no, we fair do. enough. Yeah, like, but Frog didn't involve me in anything. So he knows that I'm Seaside and that would drag Seaside into it, too. But he wanted to drag Seaside into it. How so? I mean, he came to you guys to, for backup to steal it. If it, no, if he, like if it. he talked, that's what John told me. That's what I got told by Dre. That's what I got told from you guys. Oh my god! Who came yeah, like for a backup? Long time ago, he wanted me to help him, but yeah, like it, well, I said, we told him that I want to help. If he came to Smalls to ask for help, I'm assuming it's because Smalls and and him are friends, not because he's Seaside and he's coming to Seaside. Yeah, he asked me for help. He didn't ask Seaside for help. It doesn't matter though. If you went out to do something, you're part of Seaside. Seaside is involved. But I mean, yeah, we didn't. like I'm in so, Seaside, so Seaside's involved. Like obviously, that is done. But... We have nothing to do with this shit. We don't want to anything to do with shit. Like I told the madam earlier as well, Miguel. Whatever Hydra touch, we stay the fuck away from it, and we will. Continue doing that. And if there is something, if there's some rumors, whatever, that we are involved in stuff, you know, you guys have my number. Call us up. We're down to talk. We're down to, you know, clear the air, whatever is going on. So, Smalls, I got a question. You might not be able to answer it, but still. We very recently seen them snooping the lab out. So if it's just the two of them, who else are they close with? Because if he went to you three months ago, I mean, he, he's smart enough to get this much, get this far into a lab. He's smart enough to know he can't take it on his own. So who else is he close with that he could be getting help from? Honestly, I, I have no clue. I didn't even know Chunko was involved. I, think, I don't think you're getting the message that we don't want any involvement. No, yeah, I'm like, getting that message, but Smalls is a day one of them, so I'm asking if he knows who he's close with. Like, I didn't asking. know that they were actually scouting it out. Like, they didn't tell me. What did they tell you? Three oh, months like, ago. Like I said, like probably like two or three months ago was like conversation we had. Yeah, but what he, did they tell what? you? That they wanted to steal a meth lab. And then when did Mandem get brought into that? In that same conversation. <laughs> and how did they bring up? Did they know the location? What did they know? Yeah, they already knew. They knew it was ours? Like they that was the whole approach. They said it was Mandem's meth lab and it was here? Yeah. All right. Is it settled? Yeah. We done here? Yeah. I think that was productive. Yeah. Hmm. All right, all right. That sounds like a doubt. Good luck finding them, all right? 
Oh, good. K Katie, don't fucking say it like that. It just makes it sound sus. Yeah. What do you mean? Good luck hiding <laughs> them, I guess. Uh, why would we hide them? Right, They're not our boys. Have a good day. Get the fuck out of here. Before. I don't know who Great talking. this frog is. You guys do your thing with them. They're not our boys. Yeah, but that's his friends. It's not Seaside. It's two con completely different things. Because it un it's unrelated. What is it? Is it hard to understand? Like, they're not Seaside. Why would he tell us? If he completely washed his, his fingers and his hands... It shouldn't come back. It, well, Haze is not Seaside. Haze is Haze. Okay. Yeah. Haze is still Haze. It's not Seaside. Just because it's a business doesn't make it, you know. All right. All right. <laughs> no, I don't want to fucking... I don't want to fucking do dumb shit. Uh. On a web, pretty much as expected. I seen him there, I knew I was gonna go. Yeah, yeah. I'm not too worried. Like I said, they got the information, though KJ is not making it better by saying shit like that as we fucking wrap it up. Yeah, 100%. So. But. Haze is Haze. I don't think. I don't see why people. Think Hayes is seaside. Like, yeah, they work there. And yes, it's the same thing. Like, if I went to the fucking casino and shot somebody, I would probably get shot by Hydra. I don't want fucking beef. Yeah. They don't want the people is, to right, shoot there. He doesn't realize when he, when I'm saying like. He doesn't realize that there's gonna be like something will go south if he keeps going to Hayes and being an idiot. Yes, and and we know that, and then that's gonna turn into a bigger issue. Like, exactly. I I don't disagree that having them there is gonna be an, an issue, but firing them just because of that is. Like, if somebody from the casino went out and did something dumb without... That's the issue with his entire argument, is that if he told somebody from the casino, right, to go mm -hmm. and steal a meth lab, that in itself is an issue. If somebody from the casino that was hired by him went and did it on their own accord, it's not Hydra's problem. That's just what I didn't understand his point when he was like, if I go and tell casino members to steal a lab, I'm like, that's not what happened, though. You can't say that. No. That's not the situation. That's the issue. Like, that would be us telling them. We didn't. They went on our, on their own accord to do it. Yeah. The, the it doesn't thing matter what you want to tell there. Like, basically just walk away because they made up their mind. You can see it how they talk to see how, like, the question is asked, you know? I already believe it's us. Well, so yeah. it doesn't matter. Well, yeah. I mean, they can believe whatever the fuck they want. Who well, cares? Well, that, that's like I said from the start. Like, we can tell them what happened. If they don't believe it, then that's on them. There's not much we can do about it. We gave yeah. up the two you names. Know Miguel of the people. Would, would be here in this conversation? No. Nah, yeah. Yeah. It was kind of expected. He's part I told of you he'd be here, bro. Right, he's like, <laughs> they're just mandem is Hydra's little street team. They're just hanging off the nuts. That's the thing, though. Like, I, I feel like whatever relationship we might be trying to have in Bandom is kind of lost. No, 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 no. Fuck that. Like I, like I said, I just want to have a good neighbor, you know? We will never, ever become, like, relation relation with the man. You know, KJ, you know, if you can't have a friendly neighbor, you just remove the neighbor. Just just tell me. Just tell me, KJ. <laughs> uh, the thing is... They're very. I was uh, only using that lab with with the, with the ballers, and they had the protection from the ballers. Now they have high dress protection. You know? Maybe that's what we need to do. We need to get the lab, and we need to get. We talk to CG, you know, and see if we can get that protection. We can do a lab, you know. What do you think? And the thing is, they're very. When it comes to hiring and firing people, I don't know why they keep bringing that up. That was the same with Burger Shop. I don't. It was the I, same I, thing. I don't give a fuck. You don't decide who we hire, who we fire, who works there. If whatever people want to do on their own accord, doesn't matter. I don't want to fire or hire people because Miguel said so. No, but he that's wants the thing. To control the narrative, and that's all he has done since I known him. He wants to control everybody, <laughs> yeah. everything. He did the same thing with Burger Shot. Wanted yeah. to have fire, like fire all the seaside because you know it was their turf and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Like I don't know why he keeps bringing up businesses. Because they want to control it. They want to control who works there, who walks there, who does shit there, you know? Miguel thinks he's the smartest man in the city. 
He, Miguel just thinks he's the smartest guy in the city. He always wants to be the smartest guy in the room. Like, back then when he was... I, I, I can't get over the fact that he was like... If I told a, a bunch of casino employees to steal a lab, I'm like, but that's... You, you can't cut... That's not what happened, though. We didn't tell anyone to do anything. You know, the funniest shit with Miguel is to see him talk towards Benji. <laughs> Benji just eat him raw, alive, and spit him out again. He can't handle it. Like, he doesn't know how to, basically. So, yeah, it doesn't matter. It is what it is. Like, they got the information. This is this is the reason, like, I wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one with, with Denzel just to well, get... Just, I should have just called Denzel personally and just talked to him. It would have been so much better. Yeah, because you're going to have people pushing narratives. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. But I think this is a good thing, actually. Like, I don't think this is a bad thing. I, like, I wanted to talk to Mandem, and that's why, you know, when he was talking, I just talked over him and talked to Denzel. Because this was about us and them, because they attacked me, because they thought that we knew about a lot of stuff. There's nothing to do with Hyder whatsoever, so I don't know why they involved that shit, but... Apparently it's just partly his lab in it, so he's gonna step in. Yeah, but this had nothing to do with the lab. This was more about the conversation we had earlier with them, with Mandem, not Hydra. It is what it is. But, like, we yeah, gave them the info. Right. We gave them the info if they want to believe it or not. Uh, I don't think they it's will. It's basically they're showing their hand, and it's it's good that they're doing it. You know, it just gives more reason to, like, hey, just fuck off, do your thing. Mm, just fuck them off. And it's not going to change. If they if they roll up on haze, they, you know, things are going to happen, and that's just how it is. Yo. Like, just because Miguel tells us to fire somebody, we shouldn't. I, oh, no, like, no, no, no. He's not, he's not seaside. He works as haste. That's it. Agree. But you know that he's just going to keep coming in here and looking for them. Do you know what I mean? He's going to put the pressure on that situation. He's going to be like, right, so you don't want to fire him? Well, this is what's going to happen. And just come to his, come to his, come to his. Well, if he does that, I'm just... Then he is fucking with a business. And I, I know you guys probably don't like this. Make a report. If he fucks Michael. with a business... If he, I don't give a shit. Michael... I don't give no, a shit. No, we can't snitch, Michael. It's not about snitching. This is like if he if he keeps fucking with the business, third time, like third time, that's fucking whatever. Rust act is that what they call it now? I'll do it. I don't give a fuck. God damn, motherfucker went to what fucking snow. Become? No, he is he <laughs> is not. You, bro, like who cares, bro? You can snitch on him if you want. Yeah, he he went to talk to cops. Like he is free fucking. Uh, what do you call him? Free reign, whatever you want to do. He's lost the luxury of not being snitched on. Yes. He is the biggest snitch, so... If he rolls up, he does shit, I'll... Just tell me. I'll report it. Make a fucking, um... Make a civilian report it. Somebody there. If he keeps doing it third time, it's gonna be the Rust Act. That's yeah. why that was put in place. Like I said, free game. That's the like you brain. said. They can believe whatever they want to believe. We said what we know. I don't. I don't want to put too much brain power on this stuff. You know, let them do whatever they need to do. Yeah. I told you. Make sure you know. Tell Frogger. You know. They they know about him. I guess Chunker already knows. Maybe because he told him about Frog, Frogger, Frog, as well. The Frogger. <laughs> um. I don't think Chunka knows that they're going to come after him now. Or again. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, they shouldn't fuck with the meth lab in the first place. Oh, well, they shouldn't. They're fucking stupid, bro. <laughs> like, trust me. Like, I tried to warn them, bro. I tried. Yeah. It's their choices. But yeah. Like we said... Or like it, what has been said. Like, we gave them the information if they don't want to believe it, which they probably don't. And it is what it is. There's, there's only so much that we can actually do. So. Yeah. And it would have been easier if Miguel wasn't there because he was the one that talked. Literally. Yeah. So. And I like how he says, like, I have no beef with Seaside. 
I'm not here because of that, etc. It's like we both know that's not true. Seaside's biggest you kept, fan. Yeah, you kept bringing up Seaside. <laughs> yeah. Right, boys. Want to go home? All right. Chill out. Chill out. I'm overstimulated. What do you mean you're overstimulated? I'm not and Michael's talk about snitching has got us. Got us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not snitching though. It's just reporting a crime. Hey, he got snitched on first. Well, he turned me oh, in and snitched. Yeah, exactly. That's even worse. Damn. Miguel is fr Miguel is free game. Do when will we see you again, John? <laughs> he is free game. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, I'm gonna call TJ so we can have a conversation with him. I guess so. Yeah. yeah. Try to do that. Uh, yeah, I know this is shitty, Smalls, you know? I know they're your friends and stuff like that, but... A yeah, ghost of Christmas past. Like, uh, Michael. We, we need to talk. Just knowing that it got, like, skewed in this way. <laughs> we need to talk. What did I do this time? I didn't do anything. I just want to get the fucking lay of the lands with this entire fucking, uh, uh, Edgar thing. Oh. That's lovely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure you've probably heard everything and anything from people that want to trip in your ear of how much of an asshole, dickhead, yeah. and well, idiot that I am for going after him, right? No, it's actually the opposite. Some heads up, you know? Oh. Everyone I've talked to dislike Edgar, but I just want to hear from, like, you what exactly is going on, so. Uh, okay. And Would you want to meet up or what? Yeah. Is KJ allowed to come with? Or is it just you? Uh, it's. I know you don't like seaside. I don't. I don't. Etc. I'm just asking. Ah, uh, all right. He's just gonna all listen. Right. He's not gonna. Okay, where? Uh, I don't know. You pick a pick a place. Uh, we can come to the Billy. Just don't shoot me. No. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about um? Uh, yeah, come on top of uh, you know which one the big white building is? The big white building. It's the tallest white one that we have. Uh, just north of the Billy. Just north of the Billy. What's your ping? Uh, two nine one. Two nine one. All right. Yeah. All right, I'll ping it one sec. All right. All right. All right, I'll see you there then. Yeah. Bye. Ah. God damn. I feel like this is a different, different circumstances. What have you been thinking about? No, Louis. Oh, just Louis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just Louis. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant Louis. like bringing in hang around. Sorry, I'm cooked. Yeah. Oh, like, well, that's the hang, thing hang out, as well around. is that yeah. the rust act is literally no, no, no. the yeah, biggest I mean, slap on the yeah, wrist I mean, that you can get at yeah, this point. Like it's a bit different circumstances. With now, something like this, like, so. if they keep targeting yeah. a business, then then again he can get some bank codes and stuff like that. He can do banks and shit like that when he is awake, and he's yeah. a really good myth run driver, so that way he just drive and runs for himself now. Yeah. I usually sit passenger seat with them. All right. Okay. We but, need to uh, go. I'll catch you guys later. Yeah. We need to go. So he said it's fine. You can be there, you know. But also keep in mind he doesn't like seaside. So. Oh yeah, I know. Trust me, I know. But he likes me though. It was like a bit hesitant, but I don't know. Come on, me and TJ is our best friend, man. I'm telling you. See, you're doing it again. Do one. Oh my fucking god. Like, you're making sound sus. <laughs> I'm assuming that that's a copium from the way you said it, but... Yeah, it is. I said when I first walked out. I was mm -hmm. the man and we got a new member. Yeah. Didn't take that lightly. No, we don't need that. We're, <laughs> we're there to just have a fucking meeting, not to start beef. 
Uh, I never start you know? Uh-huh. It's surely. the same way. Hey, nice car. Well, yeah, he's the same way.